Hey guys, Starcat here, and today I want to talk about some 3.4 predictions, and I have prepared a beautiful rendition of Submerged Passage to give some examples. So, there are a few things we know about the upcoming patch, and it's being announced tomorrow, so I figured it'd be kind of fun to just sort of speculate some things, and then we can all kind of go, lol, look at how amazing Tal, he is at predicting everything, he is a genius, or lol, look at how wrong Taki is because GGG last minute changed the entire league design because, you know, they didn't want Taki to uh, leak it like he did with uh, PUE Go. But anyway, so, you're in Submerged Passage. What do we know about Patch 3.4? It is a blue-themed league. It won't have anything to do with Harby, apparently, according to Bex. And, 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 Ziggy gave a little hint that he's out there at the moment and said something about it being deep. So something deep and blue. So you instantly think, well, that could be the sea. So maybe a sea-themed thing. Um, there are a few ideas which it could be, and it definitely isn't. And here are some ideas that I think would be really cool in PoE, and you can kind of stretch to be blue-themed-ish. Um, one would be to do with, obviously, the sea. And one which would be to do with, like, creepy-crawly infestations and, like, fungal stuff and spores. And I think that would be a really cool thing for PoE to do, but it's probably not that. So let's talk about the C theme. So um, Gigi have done like a thing of like taking old league styles and sort of reimagining them. And Beyond is one of my favourite leagues, and Beyond is a very popular um, league. So, you know, boring way you could do the C is, well, you know, the C is invading the world and there's just lots of extra creepy, crawly, swampy monster things. Or maybe you could like recreate Beyond somehow, and you get like random puddles forming uh, when you kill monsters like sweaty boys they drop their little puddles and then the puddles all kind of like gather together and then when they group up they then you know come and spawn a big <laughs> sea swamp monster thingy probably not that but that is a way that you could recreate beyond um also just as like a off topic -y thing i think i've decided my favorite types of leagues are leagues where the mobs appear but they don't just hold you in place. So what I mean by that is you could say, well, Beyond holds you in place because you kill the pack and then you have to kill the pack again. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's quite instant. It's quite snappy. Um, Beyond very rarely keeps you in one part of the map for a really long time. If we were to look at um, Breach, Breach was just like, hey, dude, uh, massive thing of purple, which just slowly expands and expands and expands and expands. But you end up just stuck in one... Uh, part of the map for a very long period of time and if it happens to spawn like here then most of it gets wasted and it feels bad and abyss had a similar kind of problem where abyss you would sort of uh you know go somewhere and it might snake this way it might go backwards it might do this it might do all cool sorts of cool things but at the end of the day it was just the kind of rng of you know where's it gonna go is it gonna do this weird zigzag thing you end up stuck around here with lots of waiting around is it going to go the perfect way you are you want it to? Or is it going to take you where you want to go, but then go backwards anyway for no fucking reason, and then you're not being really sad? Um, and Harby was, hey dude, floaty blue man, and you're just going to do lots of circles in the same spot and not do anything, and you feel like you're waiting. Basically, I don't like leagues which make you wait. Incursion went the other way with it. Incursion was kind of like, you don't need to ever wait for Incursion. Incursion just takes you somewhere completely separate. Um, some people got bored of that, and you could also make the argument that because Incursion had uh, very limited tile sets, you got bored of the area faster than you normally would. So I think that um, a league I would like is something which keeps you in the core map, so you have the core map, and then it adds an aesthetic to it. Um, so with the sea thing, if everything just kind of looked like it had been, you know, if you saw the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, second one, or whichever one it was, the Davy Jones thing, that could be something kind of cool where like there's just these weird squid creatures kind of like what you have in the Brian King area or when you kill monsters they kind of come back as some kind of weird congealed pool form but I really like the idea of doing something with infestations and I know it definitely isn't this but I just think this would be kind of a cool league and there's a few different ways you could do it so imagine if um, every single zone just had spores everywhere you could have uh, random floating and they could be luminous blue spores, so it counts. They could be like floating clouds, which do things if you walk through the cloud. Um, they could be um, like pustules off the walls, which will burst if you walk near them. 
Um, it could be that when you kill mobs, the spores spread from one mob to another. And you could have it so the spores spread some kind of buff um, to the monsters. Um, it could be it makes them stronger. It could mean they drop better loot. It could mean that when a bunch of spores gather, you get a spore thing. Um, you could have it where whenever you kill a pack, all of the spores fly to the next pack. And they just seek out packs from map to map. Which means that the further you progress into the map, um, the harder it gets. And then all of the spores like go into the boss and you get like a super boss. And then the super boss actually like drops loot. That could be cool. Um, those are all things that I'm really into. But yeah, I like leagues where you don't have to wait around. You don't get teleported to some bullshitty side location which doesn't really exist. And I also, I really like leagues where you get to craft adrenaline flasks. Um, so another way that you could uh, reintroduce this is every single pack uh, of monsters carries like Kool-Aid flasks. And when you kill them, you get a speed buff and you instantly refill all your flasks because, you know, that'd be muy buen. Probably not that. Backtracking to more serious talking, I think that doing something cool where we have these constantly um, grudging sea creatures climbing out of the depths, you could have it so that you have giant pools, kind of like the uh, mirror boss in Act 8, that form and growing puddles when you kill monsters and things just come out of it. But they're sort of alive and they're moving and they're not static. Um, I think that could be kind of cool. I think it's always a shame where you've got a really cool league, but then you get frustrated because, you know, your puddle goes the wrong way, the way you've already cleared. Or you get a bad spawn and half it's wasted on the wall or kind of whatever. But with all of this in mind, I did actually miss out one super glaring, super obvious thing. And this is probably what the new league is about, all memes aside. So if you think, what's blue? Well, the sea and Tarki's pretend pestilence plague. Plague shit would be really cool. It also makes sense why we have the angry bees animation. You could do giant swarming hives of blue bees. Anyway, what is blue? Prime is blue. We know that GGG is reaching out into doing more promotions. Okay, so you've got, you know, Tencent GGG, but then you've got Amazon Prime sponsored Tencent GGG. It makes sense. It's blue. It's never been done before. It isn't related to Harvey. And, you know, good things happen with Amazon Prime. And you may not be aware of this, but each and every stream has a subscribe button. And with Amazon Prime, you get one free sub each and every month. Now, these subs don't automatically renew. So you need to go to the stream and manually press it. So, yeah, you know, just as a little reminder, anyone in the chat, if you haven't done your Taki Amazon Prime this month, you might want to get into that. But yes, we will be having the 3.4 patch announcement happening tomorrow. We're going to be having a Bay class on the 11th with Rise, Octavian and Grimro. Should be amazing. Amazon Prime League. Let's go. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Amazon Prime, by the way.